Hello sports fans, welcome back to episode 2 of the Bridgeport Diaries. In answer to a lot of questions we've had about the motors and the pulleys in no more than 3 minutes because that's all I can fit on my phone. So that's one of the motors that I've used. I've used 3 in total, one for each of the XYZ axes and they are NEMA 23 motors. So NEMA 23 is a standard, it tells you the pitch circle diameter of the four mounting holes and the diameter of the boss in the centre. Unfortunately there isn't a standard for the spindle, they come in different lengths and different diameters. So you'll have to be careful that, that the pulley that you buy will fit on the spindle and the spindle is not actually wider than the pulley. The length of the motor in this direction generally increases as the power increases you can get small ones that are sort of that thick or, or less um, and these particular ones are four newton meters. They're not a fortune they were about 100 quid for a set of three and they came as a set of three. So there's one on the x-axis I think I showed you that last time down there there's one on the y-axis which is on the front there and there's one for the z-axis which is right at the top there there we go so there's your three stepper motors the stepper motors are connected via a tooth pulley the uh, driven pulley is here uh, sorry driven pulley is the big one uh, drive pulley is there so the pulleys themselves this one is a 12 tooth 12 5M15 pulley and what those numbers mean I'll just show you that again the 5M is the pitch of the teeth so these teeth here um, 5 millimeters between the teeth the 12 is the number of teeth on the pulley so it's a 12 tooth drive pulley and the 15 is the, is the width of the belt and if you look at the belt you might just be able to see the numbers on it that tell you that it's a 600 millimeter it's not focusing very well sorry guys 600 millimeter length belt uh, 5m pitch uh, and 15 millimeter wide so everything's 15 15 mil wide everything's 5m because it's a 5m tooth pitch doesn't have to be that's just what i chose the driven pulley is a 72 tooth pulley uh, and if you're not very good at maths that gives you a uh, six to one ratio uh, and again, it's a 72 teeth 5M15 to, to suit the, the, the same pitch of the belt. And in the centre of that is a boss. It's a special boss called a taper lock bush. Um, and what that does for a 5 8 inch shaft, which is the shaft that comes out of a bridge port, this particular bridge port, the BRJ, it's 5 8 there and it's 5 8 on the, the cross slide as well. Um, that taper lock bush locks onto a plain 5 8 of an inch shaft. When you do it, there's two, two grub screws, one there and one there. And it's easier to see around the other side on this larger pulley I've got for the Z axis. So that's the taper lock bush in the center there. You can see it's got a split and it's tapered so it goes in along the length of the shaft. And the pulley itself has got a tapering. That, that, that matches. So when, when you tighten these two together, it squishes the, uh, the bush onto the shaft. It's quite effective. Um, you could, of course, buy your own pulley that's a solid pulley. You could machine it. You could put a keyway in so that it fits into the woodruff on the edge of the shaft, but that's up to you. So there's your little shopping list. Um, if you want a six to one ratio and of course the the more reduction ratio you put in here the slower the machine will go but the more torque you can leverage from your stepper motor and and sometimes the more accuracy as well because every step of the motor turns this uh, less distance so so you, you can increase the accuracy there um, that's it for the pulleys uh, and the mounting I uh, hope you've uh, got something from that. Um, the plates themselves are very straightforward. It's just, just a straight plate. You take off the graduation wheel here. Uh, and in place of that, you, you've got enough width of shaft there to put the pulley and the, the plates mounted onto the same four screws. I think they're from memory 5 8 British Standard Whitworth cap screws. And I've just changed those with ordinary bolts and put a spacer in so that the plate is just stepped away. You can see how this um, face here has got a bit of a curve in. Um, that's it. I hope that's informative. hope that gives you a bit of a shopping list. And uh, later on, I'll do another video about the control mechanism, the stepper motor drivers, the Arduino, that type of thing.